Hey everyone, I'm Deronda, and today I'm going to show you how to make an herb rubbed oven braised country pork ribs. And I've got about two and a half pounds of um, pork ribs here. Some have the bone in it, some don't. And the seasonings I'm going to use before baking this I have a teaspoon and a half of kosher salt. I've got about two teaspoons of thyme leaves. These are dried herbs. I have rosemary. This is about two tablespoons of rosemary. Oops, excuse me. This is about two teaspoons of rosemary. And then I've got about a tablespoon of canola oil. And here I have a cup of a chicken broth. Now, um, I have a Dutch oven or a heavy skillet if you don't have a Dutch oven over here on medium low heat, um, heating up while I rub the dry seasonings into the pork ribs here. As you can see, give it a nice little tossing. Okay, and then you're evenly going to just sprinkle these over your ribs. Okay, all right, and pat it down in there. And what you want to do is just, you know, give them a little flip over. Okay, like this. And then you're going to add the rest of your seasonings onto the back here. So just generously put it on there. Okay. And just make sure you mash it down in there. And give it lots of, you know, flavor. Alright, now okay we've got this completed now follow me over here to the Dutch oven and I'll show you how we're gonna we're gonna put a little brown on these ribs before we transfer them into the oven here in the Dutch oven pan I'm going to add the canola oil just get it warming up in there before we add the ribs okay let's turn it, flip it around now you definitely want to use a um, a pan that is going to be oven proof because we're going to transfer this later into the oven. All right, now we're going to add our ribs, stick them down in there. We're going to braise these babies about three to five minutes on each side. brown quickly so keep an eye on them as you can see they're already starting to turn brown there see that that's what you're looking for beautiful brown braids on it Ooh, i can smell those herbs mm -hmm. smelling good now i've got my oven preheating to 300 because these are going to go in the oven on 300 for two hours and 15 minutes. Right, let's see what the other side's going to be looking like. I'm just going to use a fork here. Show you how beautiful and brown that's going to be getting. All right, and I've got this on medium high heat, but we want to braise all sides of our country pork ribs. Woo, if you could smell my kitchen. All right. See that beautiful brown there on that um, that pork rib? That's what you're looking for. Now, we're going to take this out of the pan and put it over here in the skillet because I don't like losing any of my juices. As you can see how that's braised there on the bottom. Mm -hmm. That's what you're looking for. Then you got all this yummy deliciousness in the bottom of your Dutch oven. Look at here, how beautiful and golden brown that is. Oh yeah, that's what's going to make it. Now you got all this beautiful brownness in the bottom of your, your Dutch oven, and this is where we're going to add the chicken broth. Just going to add it in there. Going to deglaze that pan and get all that richness up out of the bottom of the pan there. 
okay. Oh yeah. Get all those yummy bits out of the bottom. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, that looks about it. See, look how that deglazed the bottom of that pan. You're not going to see that brown on there anymore. Let's see here. Let me show you. See that? All comes off. Now, back in with the pork ribs. I'm just going to get them as evenly as possible. In the Dutch oven pan. Then I don't want any juice left over here in my skillet. So I'm going to make sure to get all of that flavor in there. Get it all in that pan. Alright. Now you're going to use a tight fitting lid for your Dutch oven. And in the oven it goes. Alright, I've been baking these country ribs for about two and a half hours. Just took them out of the oven and whoa, look at that. Now that is some herb rubbed oven braised country pork ribs. And let me dig into this. Look at how it's just falling off the bone here. Ooh, look how tender that is. Mm -hmm. Let's see, I'm going to, ooh, look, it just falls apart there. Look how delicious that is. Ooh. Get you some barbecue sauce, get you some homemade coleslaw. And you've got a win-win dinner for the evening. Hey, y'all. Hope you give this a try. I'm Dorana with Foods 101. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time.